12 Monkeys was a time travel TV show loosely based on the 1995 Terry Gilliam film, which was itself loosely based on a 1962 French short film by Chris Marker. The main character is Cole, a time traveler from a post-apocalyptic future. Cole almost never really knows what he's doing. He's forced into constant moral compromises and ends up failing most of the time, but he continues because he has no other options. I'm a huge fan of Marker's original short film, La Jete. You can watch the whole thing on YouTube. I'll link to it. The Gilliam film is also great, and the TV series is surprisingly good, too. Today's math prop appears in episode 12 of season 2. Cole's lady friend Cassie has traveled to 1957, and she's working in this office to find out about something-something. And the office she works in has two adding machines, this big one up here, and this little one over here. Unfortunately, they're just sitting up on the shelf, and they're only on screen for a couple seconds each. The big one is a Burroughs machine, which would be used mostly for adding. The form factor looks like what they call the Burroughs Portable Machine, which by today's standards isn't portable at all. It's big and heavy. It would have been a real pain to move around, especially if you kept it on a shelf at shoulder height. It's sitting next to some rolls of adding machine printer tape, which is a nice touch. The little one looks like the Facet Model C113, which was a machine made in Sweden. This machine is also used for adding, but its real strength is in multiplication. Yop Scarepies did a nice video about it. I'll link it in my description. Both of these machines were designed for corporate office use, so they're totally appropriate in that sense. Unfortunately, things aren't quite right when you look really closely. The Burroughs Company revised their logo design several times over the years. The exact design of the logo is one of the ways you can date a Burroughs machine. The Burroughs portable machines in the 1950s had Burroughs written at the bottom and a circled B at the top. As far as I can tell, the one with the burrows written at the top wasn't introduced until the 1960s, so this one is close but not quite right for 1957. The Facet C113 was made in Sweden, so it would be a bit surprising to see this machine in an office in 1957 New York. And then there's the fact that this particular model actually didn't even release in Sweden until the year 1957. So not impossible, but I'd say it's a bit of a stretch. Unfortunately, nobody uses these things on screen. They just sit on the shelf in the background. A bit disappointing, but I'll take what I can get. This scene also features this thing up here. Is that anything? Looks like it could be some kind of machine or maybe just a box, like rolling cards maybe? I don't know. In summary, I give this episode of 12 Monkeys my math props rating of not so good. Thanks for watching and let me know if you see any more.